What is going on guys? Get you with throw here with more spin tires and today guys check it out We have a classic off-roading vehicle right here. This is of course none other than the Ford Bronco This thing is a beast if I could have any real car or any off-roading car in real life I should say it would be this guy. It would be a Ford Bronco. That's kind of like a life goal at this point So let's not waste any time Let's get the engine all started up here And of course if you guys do enjoy the live stream today drop a like down below Let me know that you did in the chat I'm gonna be trying to shout out as many of you guys as I can who drop a like but uh, without any further ado why don't we throw some stuff on this guy let's see uh, oh check that out we're gonna get the roof rack on him spare tire on the back as you can see down here and of course the Bronco Jack now it looks like we can change the tires uh, I'm gonna leave the defaults on the tires don't really make a huge difference uh, cosmetically anyway so uh, let's see we're not gonna waste any time let's turn off that parking brake and set off now right now we only have rear wheel drive on so let's see how we can do uh, just with the rear wheel drive I think we're gonna set off to the right uh, so you can see the back tires are spinning there a little bit like I said we do not have four wheel drive on at the moment no diff lock so let's just see how it can do uh, and then obviously once we start getting stuck a little bit we'll turn on the four wheel drive we'll engage it and uh, put this thing to the test so real quick before I get too far into this, actually, let me just make it so I can see what you guys are saying to me here, of course, in the live stream chat. Okay, there we go. Alright, so what is going on, everybody? What's going on, Yolanda Gaming, BMX Vlogger, Loza, Keelan, uh, Nicholas, Fishing Gamer, Elmer. Guys, what is up? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the live stream. How is your day going? Uh, ooh, alright, so this might be where we need four-wheel drive already. Let's see. Still no need for four-wheel drive yet. Um, we're just kind of going at a nice, steady pace. Okay, so this might be where we need the four-wheel drive. All right, let's put it on. Let's put it on. Let's stop messing around. Four-wheel drive on, diff lock on. And, of course, this is immediately going to make a world of a difference. And uh, hopefully the sunshine comes out a little bit. Um, it is about 10 o'clock a.m. in-game, and it's a little bit of a foggy day. Uh, and spin tires, I always prefer it when it's nice and sunny, but generally, you don't get sunny weather in this game. You do not. Yo, ZT Gaming, thanks for dropping a like, dude. Very much appreciated. Ooh, let's not go off the trail. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Gotta make sure we don't roll down the mountain. There we go. Okay, just trying to keep things nice and steady. I want to do this in a realistic manner. Obviously, you could just go barreling down the hill like a madman, but, uh, you know, the fun in spin tires is to do things in kind of a realistic manner. Oh my gosh, alright, so this is some very thick mud. Very, uh, very deep. Also kind of a downhill slope here. Wow, it actually gets pretty, pretty steep. Let's keep it going. Uh, yo, True Gaming, thanks for leaving a like, dude. Shout out to you, very much appreciated. Thank you for your support. Unknown Gamer, I love you too, dude. Welcome, welcome to the stream. And also, Maddox, thanks for dropping a like, dude. Alright, so far so good. So far so good. Up ahead we have, of course, got the usual river. And, ooh, okay, alright, keep it going. Keep it going, a little bit of a frame skip there. But, uh, so far, nothing that the Ford Bronco can't handle. So like I said at the beginning of the stream, guys, I do not currently own an off-roading vehicle in real life. Um, I drive a 2012 Mazda 3. One day I would love to have something with four-wheel drive with a nice lift kit on it for off-roading like this. And I've always said my dream off-road car, ever since I can really remember, if I were to get one, would be a jacked-up Ford Bronco. Um, in this body style, of course. This is one of the older ones. Um, I don't know if this is second gen or third gen. This is obviously... Either the 80s or 90s body style. If any of you guys know like the exact year, go ahead and let me know in the chat. Go ahead and tell me in the chat what body uh, this or what model year this body style would have been. Whew. Let's get it up the hill. All right. I feel like the camera likes to pan out really far for this vehicle. Uh, all right. So we've got a slight hill climb going on right now. Nothing too steep though. Nothing that the Ford Bronco once again cannot handle. Getting up with no real problem. And uh, guys, this is actually a mod. This is uh, not a stock car in the game. So for a mod, I mean, this thing is really nice. Really well done mod. Really nice handling. Um, feels pretty realistic. Uh, I don't know. So far, I really like it. Uh, Nicholas, Jeremy, 
uh, start a GoFundMe for it. Good idea, Martoon. <laughs> Maybe I will. No, probably not. Um, guys, thanks for the likes, Jeremy and Nicholas. Yo, Tim, thanks for subscribing, dude. Very much appreciated. You guys in chat are saying this is actually a 70s Bronco. Well, I see 1991, I see 77. I'm seeing a few different years. But regardless, um, you know, it's an older, older body style. And supposedly, I don't know if you guys have heard, but Ford is supposedly bringing back the uh, Ford Bronco. It might not be until like 2020, I'm not sure, like 2018 potentially. Um, but supposedly Ford is bringing this car back, which I think would be awesome. I hope they do it well, I hope they do it right, and I think they will. Uh, lately, I feel like Ford's been doing a lot of really nice looking cars, a lot of functional cars as well. But um, really, from their sedans to their trucks, I think Ford has been doing a really good job lately. Uh, what do you guys think? What, what do you guys think? How's Ford been doing with their vehicle lineup in recent years? Let me know what you think in the chat. Uh, we'll do a leg spike in a little bit, guys. Hold on. First, this can be a bit of a doozy, this section right here. So let's see. This log section with all these fallen trees. I've had a few vehicles get kind of hung up here. Trying to get around that guy. Okay, there we go. There we go. And... Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Get over all these branches. Oh yeah. Okay, not too bad, not too bad at all. And I do wish there was maybe a little bit more difficult terrain, because so far the Ford Bronco is just kind of kicking butt. It is not... Oh, oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, yeah, let's just back up for this guy. We kind of drove into that that tree slash branch. I don't know what that is. Um, this is clearly a logging forest. You can see all these stumps around us. So we are just doing some hillside or some country exploring. Countryside, forest exploring. I don't know what you want to call it. Alright, let's try with a little bit more speed now. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, we're gonna try to drive over these. We're going to try. I don't know. Ooh, do it, do it, do it! Ooh, there we go, come on! Yes, get that rear tire up. And the second one? Alright, so the second one we didn't really need to drive over, but man, Ford Bronco so far is just killing it! Absolutely killing it! Uh, Thermal251, thank you for subscribing, dude. Welcome to the family. I very much appreciate you swinging by the stream, dude. I appreciate the subscription. Uh, oh, alright, so this section gets pretty deep. You can see these are some previous ruts from whoever was here last. Um, uh, our little dude inside there, you can see he is getting shaken around every which way. His head's kind of bobbing around a little bit, but he's doing okay. He's doing a good job so far. He's actually doing a fantastic job. Use 4x4. We are. We have four-wheel uh, four drive engaged right now. We've got the diff lock on. And, um, yeah, of course, park and brake off. <laughs> if we had the park and brake on, I don't think we would be going very far at all. Sean George, thank you. Thank you for dropping that like, dude. What is the map name? This is actually called The Hill. This is one of the stock maps that come on the game. Um, just to give you a little bit of information, what I wanted to do, I wanted to do a modded map for this stream. I wanted to do a new map that I'd never played on before but I couldn't get any of the modded maps to work for the life of me. In fact, that's why I didn't stream yesterday. Um, I kept trying all these different maps and it kept saying map either broken or outdated or something like that. And so uh, I ended up running out of time and I couldn't stream yesterday. So we had to come back to one of these stock maps. I don't know why it didn't work. I don't know why none of the maps worked. But, um, really not an issue, because this is a really cool map. Most of the stock maps in spin tires are really solid. Uh, let's drive over this little stick guy here. Just get on over him. This Ford Bronco, I keep saying it, it it's just a beast. I, I'm waiting for something to trip it up, I'm waiting for something to slow it down. But, uh, you know, it's got this giant lift on it. Meaty, meaty, tready tires. Uh, just a really well done mod, really nice vehicle. Yo, shout out to you, Dumal, Dumal Gaming. Uh, I hope I said that right. Shout out to you, buddy. Thanks for swinging by the stream. Um, Jacob Lloyd liked and subscribed. Yo, thank you, Jacob. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's get a little bit of speed with it now. Let's give it a little bit of gas. Let's see. This is not the fastest vehicle. This is pedal to the metal, as you can see here. This is full throttle. 
This is not a vehicle made for speed, obviously. Uh, whoa, wow, what the heck was that? Did you, <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught that, but uh, front right tire went into a rut and the entire back end actually lifted up. Let's see if we can drive over this log pile, in fact. I want to see if we can get over these logs. We don't usually do this. Usually when I get to the logs, I just kind of drive past them. But uh, I feel like if there's any vehicle that's just going to be able to drive straight over these, it's going to be the Bronco. It's going to be the Bronco. So let's give it a try. Here we go. Approaching the logs. Give it a little bit of gas. Not too much. So far, so good. Oh my goodness. The Bronco, guys. It's unstoppable. It is unstoppable. I've had other vehicles not be able to get over these logs. Like I said, we don't usually try to drive over them, but I think that's because I've tried in the past and usually it didn't work. But, uh, the Bronco is just straight killing it. Let's see. Let's try this one. This pile's a little bit more steep. It looks to be a little bit more ruddy, possibly. Um, let's see if we can get over it. Uh, alright, so, yo, Zygarde, thanks for dropping the subscription, my man. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> also, shout out to you, Cody. Thank you, thank you for dropping that like. Guys, we'll do a like spike here in a little bit. Don't worry. Ooh, oh my gosh, the Bronco. Do it. Do it. Oh. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Ooh, having a little bit of trouble. Having a little bit of trouble. Ooh, there it is, there it is, yes! Oh my gosh, this thing is such a beast. This is already one of my favorite vehicle mods I've ever reviewed here on my channel. And we have played on a lot of different vehicles. A lot of different vehicles. This one is one for the books, let me tell you. Alright, let's see if we can just get over the final pile and then... We are gonna get back to the, ooh, we don't wanna roll it. We really do not wanna roll it on its side. Can we get up this? Of course we can! Yes, what a proud vehicle. Look at it, up on top of the log pile. He knows he's a beast. Ooh, we almost fell forward. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed there, but uh, the back end kinda came up and we, that was kind of a close call. All right, so let's see, here we are on the map. Um, we are just going to continue out to the left, I suppose. Uh, alright guys, so why don't we do the first like spike of the stream right now. If you've never been here before, all you gotta do is drop a like down below, and then of course, after you do, just tell me in the chat that you did. Just put liked, and I'm going to shout out as many of you guys as I can in about 30 seconds. So, oh, that, that would be a log. That's, that's a tree. There we go. Get over it, come on. Okay. Like spike in three, two, one. Like spike! Yeah! Alright, let's see, let's see. The Bronco is the bomb, Maddox. It really is. Is there a police car with mud tires mod? That's a good idea. Um, not that I'm aware of. I don't know of any police cars in spin tires. But I'll check. I'll look for one. If there was, or if there is, I'll, I'll be sure to check it out. But um, from what I can remember, I don't believe there is. But uh, ooh, we'll have to find out. We'll have to find out. Alright. Alright. Guys, I've always said it. If you come to my streams often, then you've heard me say this. But the best Grand Theft Auto is going to be like a combination of spin tires, beam NG drive, and of course, GTA. If they can ever combine like those three physics engines, it would be the most incredible game ever. Okay, so, oh my gosh, alright, likes rolling in. Shoutouts going out to, oh my gosh, Kevin, thank you for the like, Caleb, Fox, Elmer, Lars, Jason, Mighty, Matthew, Cody, Jessica, Katie, uh, Nick, Enrique, Farm Boy, Wild Panda, Logan, Tristan, Jacob, Austin, Lisa, Extreme Payback, Glowstick, Brandy, Hunter, uh, Zippo Man, Shyler. We'll do a few more here. Uh, Hrafnel Kari Gunnarsson. I'm, I think I butchered your name pretty good there, so I'm sorry. Uh, Code Red, Devin Lopez, uh, Joel, 
uh, Quiggin Gin Cheese Man. And we're gonna do, oh wow, okay, hold on, hold on. This is really deep. I gotta make sure I'm paying attention here. All right, let's do five more shout outs. Um, okay, uh, James for Blames, Justin Cooper, Dakota, Noah Bell. And the final shout out for now is gonna go out to AGR500. So guys, thank you, thank you for tuning into the stream. Thanks for dropping those likes. If I miss you this time, don't worry. There will be plenty, plenty more opportunities to get likes, spikes, or to get um, shoutouts, shoutouts, shoutouts in the future. We do lots of likes, spikes here, so don't worry if I missed you. Ooh, okay, so out of curiosity, let's try turning off the, uh, the four-wheel drive real quick. Ooh, okay. I'm actually kind of surprised we're moving, to be honest. Um, I didn't think we'd move at all without the four-wheel drive. So the fact that we're moving a little bit is actually uh, kind of impressive, in my opinion. Um, yeah. Uh, there's, eh, let's put four-wheel drive back on. <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose of off-roading when you just go in two-wheel drive and you're crawling at a mile a minute. All right, let's drive along this little bank here. Little river bank, driving over some rocks. Ooh. Can we, uh, um, let me see. I want to find somewhere to go after this. Um, ooh, can we drive up on the bank? Let's get up on it. Get up on it. Jump up on it. Jump up on it. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. We got the, the tires over the other side. But, uh, oh my gosh. This is so much mud. So much mud. All right, should we go hit the cloaking section real quick to uncover the map? I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother. We're just gonna continue into the unknown, continue into the abyss. Who would like to see an off-road DLC in GTA V? Southern Sammy. I've been saying it since day one. I would love to see an off-road DLC in GTA V. I think that would just be amazing. Um, I actually made a video about that, I'd say probably two years ago where I pitched my ideas that Rockstar could use. They could do lift kits, they could do winches, they could do, you know, just new off-road vehicles in general. They could allow you to switch between uh, two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. I think it would be incredible. I think it would be so cool. Um, I have a feeling the next GTA might do something like that. If, if they keep going the route they're going, which is just really good innovation and really good updates from title to title. I think they might realize that there's a there's a big market in off-roading. There really is. I mean, if they put realistic, good off-roading in GTA, um, I hope they realize people would love that. People like it as, as, it, as it is now, and it's not even that great. I mean, don't get me wrong, off-roading in GTA is fun, but it's not the greatest in, you know, any video game. It's good. Uh, Spin Tires obviously beats it. Spin Tires is, I think, the number one best and most realistic off-roading game, but that's just my opinion. Um, give us a question? Sure. Um, let's see here. What's a good question? Alright, I'll ask you guys the same question I answered at the beginning of the stream. If you guys could have any off-road car, any off-road vehicle, off-road truck, you know, something you'd like to take, mudding or something like that, what kind of car would it be? Give me a year, a make, and a model. Uh, so in my case, it would be like a, I don't know, 1990-ish Ford Blazer. That's just my opinion. Basically this vehicle right here. Not in this color though. I'd like to have like a two-tone, maybe like the red ones with like the white accents. I think those are really nice. But um, yeah, everybody let me know in the chat. What is your dream off-road 4x4 hillbilly truck. Let me know. Uh, let's go through... Let's go through here. What lies over this hill? What lies over this hill? Ooh, can we get up this? I was gonna say, we better be able to get up this. Good stuff. Next time, honestly, we might have to do another Ford Bronco stream and do something a little more challenging. I mean, the, the Bronco's just killing it. This is almost a little too easy for it. Uh, okay, so let's go over to that cloaking station over there. You guys are saying if you could have any off-road vehicle in the world, your dream off-road 4x4 truck. I'm seeing 1989 Jeep XJ, 
an F250, 1997 Chevy 4x4, single cab, 2016 Silverado. Ooh, let's get out of this water. It's kind of deep. Kind of deep. There we go. Uh, Toyota Tacoma, 2016. You don't see many Toyota trucks people wanting. You know, uh, Toyota makes great cars. They really do. They, they really do. They make long-lasting cars. But here in America, most people are like, America, yeah! You know? Like, most people do not like the foreign trucks. Personally, I don't have a problem with them. Uh, Nissan Titan 2017 GMC Sierra HD Dodge Cummins 5.9 liter 79 Dodge 4x4 Power Wagon A Bronco, nice, nice. Uh, yo, Cheese Man, thanks for the subscription, dude. Welcome to the family. I hope you enjoy your stay. Guys, if you are watching here for the first time, if there's anybody new here who's never been on my channel before, please make sure you do subscribe and uh, let me know in the chat after you did. I'd love to love to know who the new folks are, and I'd love to have you back in the future. So let me know if you do subscribe. Now, it is getting a little dark out. Uh, it's dusk in the game. It's about 8 o'clock. Oh, what a beautiful car. Look at it. Here on the bridge, just chilling. Fantastic car. Fantastic. I shouldn't call it a car. Not a truck, either. I guess technically it's an, S an SUV. Hmm. Oh, boy. Okay, so we've got another fueling section up here. Gaming with Dustman. Nelson J. Rivera. Manuel Antonio. Uh, Lars, Devin Lopez, you guys said you are all new and you just subscribe. Guys, thank you, thank you, welcome again to the family. I do hope you enjoy your stay here on my channel. And, uh, ooh, I hope you're enjoying the gameplay. I hope you enjoy my face. Um, I do what I can. I try to, uh, I try to do a good job here. I think it might be time to move time forward, so, because it's getting a little dark out. It's getting a little dark, so let's grab the clock. And, uh, let's make it, how 7 a.m.? Yes. Cool. There we go. Okay. 7 a.m. It is now a new day. Um, can I please try to upload more? Caleb, yes. Uh, trust me. I, I wish I was uploading more than I was. Thing is, you know, I'll go into a new week saying, okay, I'm gonna make five videos this week. And then school happens. You know? And then unexpected things come up. And then all this stuff happens. Um, I kind of want to... hold on. I hope this isn't a bad idea. I kind of want to see if we can get across this river, but I also don't want to flood the engine. But I think we've got to give it a try. We've got to give it a try. Let's go for it. Dangerous water level. Let's see if we can make it up this bank. Go, go, go. Yes! Oh, Bronco, you are such a beast! I love it! I love it, love it! Oh, get through those trees. Good stuff. But, um, yeah, I would like to get back on five videos per week, at least. Um, for me to do that, though, school needs to become a little less hectic. I also, admittedly, need to get a little better at time management. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll try to start doing definitely more than one video per week. But I think the last three, three weeks, has, has it only been one video per week? It might be. Um, yo, Hunter, what's up, dude? You said you just joined. Big B and Noah Bell and Sammy, you said you guys all just subscribed. Thank you. Thank you for the subscriptions. Very much appreciated. Ooh, don't tip over, Bronco. Whoa, okay, okay. This camera is kind of going a little whack here. Get up the hill. Get up the hill. Ooh, okay. All right, back. You know what? Back to the water. Let's, let's cross back over. Okay, can we get out? Can we drive up this dangerous water level? Uh, we could tip backwards, potentially. Oh my gosh, I honestly did not expect to make it up that at all. This thing just does not stop impressing me. Alright, let's... I want to see some hill climb action. What lies straight ahead? Cool. So we can actually go straight ahead. I was hoping that wouldn't be the edge of the map. Let's try it. Let's just try going up this hill that lies ahead. Uh, and Nick and Damien and Gaming Legend, guys, thank you, thank you for the subs. Finn McKenna, welcome. You said you just joined. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Sammy, thanks for dropping the like. 
just finished my homework and came to the stream. Awesome. I still have a little bit of homework I need to take care of myself. Um, I'm getting a little bit behind, to be honest. There's like three or four weeks of this semester left, and I've got to... I've gotten a little lazy in this semester. I've got to make sure I don't fall behind. I don't know if we're going to be able to get up this. Here we go. No! No, Bronco! Ah, it downshifted, and that just kind of screwed us. Okay. I think... Alright, here's what we're going to try to do. Ooh, don't, don't fall, don't fall. Or tip, I mean. Okay. Let's put it in, like, low three. Um, because it, it kind of downshifted and screwed us there, so hopefully low three will just give us a steady output of power with no shifting. Um, we do have all-wheel drive on, we've got diff lock on. Let's see if we can make it up this hill. I would like to make it up here. I don't know if we're going to be able to. This is pretty steep. I mean, take a look at this angle. This, this is definitely a steep hill. If it doesn't make it up, I'm not going to hold it against it. Good progress so far. Come on, come on. Let's try shimmying to the right a little bit, maybe? To the right, to the right, no. Oh, there we go, there we go. A little bit of ground we're making. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Oh, oh no, no! Oh, that was close. That was really close. We almost tipped. That was way too close. All right, let's not go down too fast now. Let's go down nice and steady. Ooh, let's not ruin the undercarriage of our car on that big rock. And okay, okay, nice little descent down the hill. Yo, gamers XD, what is up, dude? Welcome, welcome to the stream. All right, back to the bottom. That is okay. Uh, where do we still have to go? We are right here. So it looks like if we go to the left, we'll just go to the left. It looks like that should be some uh, some new terrain that we have not yet seen. So let's go over that way. Oh, nice. We've got a bridge. Cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. Mud? We're looking for the mud. Don't worry. We'll have plenty more mud. Ooh, let's not drive off the, uh, the bridge here. Actually, let's not even use the bridge. Let's see... I want to see if we can drop in to the right and then drive up the other side, drive up the other bank there. Let's give it a try. Uh, we'll have a little bit of mud in a little bit, guys, don't worry. Before you got here, there was a lot of mud, a lot of mud. Alright, this is a little bit of maybe mud. Oh, what are we... I'm having a little bit of trouble here. Okay, now can we exit? That is the question. Come on, Bronco! Do it! I know you've got it in you! Come on! Just get your front tires over. I think if we could just get those front tires over that lip. Oh! Yes! This thing's such a beast! I can't believe it! Uh, the only thing that's failed this entire time, I don't even want to call it a fail, but I guess technically it was, was driving up that hill. Any upgrades for the Bronco? There are a few. Um, this roof rack that you see on top of it with all these goodies in it, that's an add-on. Um, that back tire and the, uh, what do you call that thing, the jack, that red diagonal thing, that is also an add-on. So, um, And you can also change the tires. The other tire options aren't the greatest. They're not, like, super exciting. Um, okay, I want to continue on this way. I want to go where we haven't yet gone. Is this the only game you play? No. Check out my channel, dude. Um, we play Grand Theft Auto V. We play Beam NG Drive. I want my next video to be a Beam NG Drive video. Um, it's been a long time since we've played Beam NG Drive, and honestly, I miss that game. I miss it a lot, so... Uh, whenever I upload my next video... Excuse me. Um, yeah. Expect it to be a Beam NG Drive video, and if you've never seen that game... Make sure you don't miss it, because honestly, that game is very fun. Most realistic crash crash physics in probably any game ever made, um, in my opinion. I always have to say in my opinion, because you might disagree, but actually, I don't know if you could disagree with that. That game has amazing, amazing physics. 
Alright, so I do want to find some mud for you guys. Who remembers off-roading with the hearse? I'm glad you were there for that. The hearse off-roading was pretty cool. Uh, Bronco, come on, come on! What? This thing shifts way too often. I wish we could just keep it in one gear. Um, see, now we're right back down to two, and now we're back in three. Alright, so we'll, we'll find a little bit of mud in a little bit, guys. I like the 6x6. Six six. Oh, hey, here's here's a little bit of mud. Um, what 6x6? Six six? You mean the dubs to 6x6? Six six? I don't think we did a 6x6 six six in spin tires, did we? Is spin tires a hard game? No, it's not a hard game. It's honestly a pretty relaxing game. You just drive around, go where you want to go. There's a few objectives, but personally, I don't even worry about the objectives. Um, I, I honestly, it's a really relaxing game for me. I think it's a lot of fun. It's just fun to drive around and explore, honestly. Um, and there's tons of modded maps that you can download online, so... You know, there's always new content, there's tons of modded vehicles to download. Personally, I think it's a really cool game. I'd like to see an update for it one day, or maybe some, uh... I don't know, some... Maybe like Spin Tires 2 or something like that. But, uh, you know, for now there's all we've got, but it's okay, it's a good game. Alright, we've got a little bit of mud here. I think we're gonna have more that uh, lies ahead. I think we'll definitely be coming up on it. You were the best gamer on spin tires. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, there's not actually too many people who upload spin tires, believe it or not. Not too many YouTubers um, do spin tires. There are a few. There's a few. There's a couple. Well, more than a couple, but, uh, you know. <laughs> Uh, what college do I go to? I go to Youngstown State University. You've probably never heard of it. Um, please notice me. I notice you, Nathan. Don't worry, dude. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for swinging by. Alright, where are we? Okay. Alright, we're gonna drive over to this corner of the map. Let's give it a little bit more speed now. Let's give it a little bit more speed. Landon, you said you just joined. Welcome, dude. Ethan, you said you just subscribed. Well, thank you, Ethan. Thank you, thank you. I really like how the open world, or how open world this game is, just got it for PC yesterday. I agree, man. It's, they're big maps, you can go pretty much anywhere uh, over to the edge of the map. You just, like I said, you go where you want to go, and I think that's kind of what's so fun about this game. You know, you've got the freedom, there's no real set objective, and ooh, okay, we've got a nice little section here. Hopefully a little bit of mud, too. Not really mud between the puddles, but that's okay. We'll be coming up on it. Caleb, you said you subscribed, dude. Thank you for subscribing. Cobra plays. Welcome, welcome. Do you have the realistic dispatch enhanced mod for GTA 5? Is that for LSPDFR? If so, I don't think I do. Um, I do need to do some more, um, some more LSPDFR. Hunter is your brother? Cool, cool. I didn't know that uh, you guys are brothers. Shout out, bro. My second time here. Yo, shout out to you, Jeremiah. I'll see you later, Leo. Thanks for swinging by the stream, dude. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we are going to go... We'll keep going straight for now. Keep going straight. Ooh, let's give it a little bit of gas. Let's see how fast 1 plus is. Here we are. This is basically as fast as this vehicle can go. So let's see how fast that is. Not, not very, not, ooh, hey, is this a little mud pit? This could be a little bit of mud now. Here we go. Here we go. Let's put it in low two and see how we do here. Low two. So far, so good. Let's see, uh, drive over here on these rocks a little bit. All right, and oh, there we go. How do we, there we go. Let's drive over this little island here. Guys, what do you think? What do you think of the Ford Bronco? So far, I think it has been just really good. Jonathan Conseg, thank you for subscribing, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and also, Ryan, thank you for dropping a like, dude. Shout out to you. Very, very much of a, very much of a thank you. Is that a thing people say? Anyway, thanks, Ryan, for dropping the like. Um, <laughs> Jack Christie, you said you're a big fan. Well, thank you, dude. I'm a big fan of you being here, let me just say. Ooh, all right, this, this low two is a little slow. 
A little slow. Ooh, here, this looks to be a good... Ooh, okay, yep, yep. We found a little bit of mud. Found a little bit of mud. Okay. Alright. Uh, oh, trying to fix the camera here. If I did have one complaint about this game, the camera would have to definitely be one of the complaints. Um, you know, it's a really good game, and I like that you can snap the camera like this, but outside of that, it can be really difficult sometimes to get a good camera angle. It's not a deal breaker by any means for this game, you know, I, I think it's still a fantastic game as it is, but uh, the camera function could have definitely been a little bit better. Ooh, these rocks are just crumbling underneath these tires. Um, oh, guys, we'll do shoutouts here in a little bit. We'll do shoutouts in a little bit. Don't worry. Um, Alright, so let's do another comment question for you guys. What's something else I can ask you? Um, you know what? I gotta check these text messages real quick, only because I have six new messages, and I have some things I need to do tonight. I just gotta make sure... Oh my gosh, see, someone's saying, answer me, um, oh, hold on, streaming until, okay, alright, sorry about that, <laughs> yeah, so uh, later tonight I have to go to band practice, and I try not to text during live streams, obviously, but just in case someone were like, hey guys, uh, it's canceled or hey we you need to be here sooner I just gotta make sure I stay up on my text messages so ooh you guys you guys know how that goes so here ooh, we've got a nice little low section let's drop down into it drop right down into it here we go good stuff good stuff drive on out and okay we need to find something really muddy, though. We need to find something really muddy. We had something really muddy at the beginning of the stream, but we've since... Ooh, check this out! <laughs> I love a, a nice muddy field. Does this count as mudding? This is a good suspension test, actually. Take a look. Take a look at the suspension. You can see each of the springs doing their job. You can see the flex there of each of the... Um, Man, I might be a noob, but I actually don't know what those things are called. What are those diagonal things going in towards the center underneath? Um, let me know. Let me know in the chat. I'm curious. Uh, I don't know a ton about cars, to be honest. I'm not going to try to lie to you guys and pretend like I'm some car expert. I'd say I know more than the average person, but I'm no expert. And I don't want to lead you guys to believe that I'm, you know, some kind of mechanical genius or something. Um, I do like cars. But there's a lot of stuff I've still got to learn, you know? There's a lot of stuff I've still got to learn. Does anyone have Gitchy's number? I sure hope not. No offense, but only because I know I'd get trolled and prank called and stuff in the middle of the night. So hopefully that never leaks. Uh, to those of you who would just like to talk to me, I'm sorry that the trolls ruin it for everybody. But I simply cannot have my phone number getting out. That's just not something that can happen. Not something that can happen. Yo, Savar... Sarvagya Mashawari. I hope I didn't mess up your name too bad. You said you are new. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. Uh, hold on, hold on. I gotta send one more quick reply. Okay. Alright, let's keep it going. Crawl up on out of this hill. Or, hill, uh... I mean, we're, this is kind of a hill, but... Let's try it without four-wheel drive. Once again, just out of curiosity, let's see how we do with only the rear-wheel drive. Okay, little bit of movement. Yeah, we're, we're not going anywhere without the four-wheel drive. That's not happening. Then as soon as we put four-wheel drive back on, three, two, one, go. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So much just steady power, good traction, good weight distribution. Um, you know, I guess if I did have to critique it, the Blazer, or not the Blazer, <laughs> the Bronco probably does have a somewhat high center of gravity. Um, it's a relatively tall vehicle, especially with a lift like this on it. Traction bars? Is that what I was looking for when I asked a couple minutes ago? Yo, Hunter, you said you liked the video, dude. Thank you, thank you. 
Yo, monster, don't do that, man. Come on, you're better than that. Don't, don't ever do that. I got you, boy. Just stay here, hang out. <laughs> um, yo, what is up, typical badass? How's it going, dude? Alright, so let's see if we can find... Let's get out of this field. Wow, look at this nice little path we've made. Alright, um... Here's what I want to do. Let's see. Let's just start by driving straight ahead. Um, I want to find one more muddy section before we run out of time. Uh, this field's kind of muddy, but not the kind of mud I'm looking for. So let's get out of this field. Uh, do a like spike? Alright, let's do another like spike. We'll do one more like spike. If you guys have never been here, just drop a like down below. Tell me in the chat that you liked the video. And I'm going to shout out as many of you guys as I can. So, hold on, let's make sure we're going the right way. I guess we kind of are. Um, actually, you know what? We're just going to do this. Let's rescue to the garage. Oops. Oops. Hold on. How do we... Garage, 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 garage. Rescue to the garage. Let me take a sip. Okay. Alright, monster, just stay here, man. You're good. If you just stay here, you'll be perfect. Um, Alright, so, guys, drop those likes. Tell me in the chat that you did a like spike in 3, 2, 1. Like spike! Woo! Yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah, as those start to roll in, we will, of course, get the shout out rapid fire underway. But for now, let's just try to make it over to some mud. Over to some mud. And... Okay, so far so good. And none of this is too deep. Oh, here we go. Here's a little bit of mud action, maybe. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, so... Let's very carefully and slowly... I want to try just, like, driving off this bridge. Driving... We might tip it. There's a chance that we're just going to turn on our side, and if we do... I guess no big deal. Oh, actually, very nice entrance into the water. Really, really well done. Let's drive over this. Ooh, oops, I accidentally shifted out of gear there. I don't know if you noticed the, uh, the shift knob pop up there. Ooh. Do it! Do it! Okay, sorry, I forgot about the likes, but here we go. Shoutouts going out to... Ty John Jackson, Thomas, Jonathan, Kim Best, Chris Scruggs, uh, Skater Boy, Callie Lakety, Anthony Hilliard, Lucas Woff, Woff maybe, Black Ops Quick Scope 101, Matt Rosato, who else do we have here? Steven Seif, Hunter Bell, Kishan Jones, I hope I said that correctly, uh, Crazy Cajun, Potato Gamer? Did that really just say Potato Gamer? <laughs> Terrence Villafana. <coughs> oh my gosh. Oh, sometimes streaming, I'll actually kind of start to lose my voice a little bit. Like, not start to lose my voice, but... You know when you can tell that you're just barely starting to use your voice, your, your throat starts to hurt a little bit? And I don't know why that happens, because I'm, I'm not really yelling, but at the same time, I must be talking louder than I normally do. Otherwise, it wouldn't happen. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Shoutouts also going out to Good Gamer, Leo Looked, Anthony Hilliard, uh, Eric Orego, Alyssa Perez, and final three shoutouts Dom Souza, uh, Jack Christie, and the final shoutout for now is going to go out to. What are we stuck on? Oh, wow. That's. <gasps> Ooh, come on. Get over the rock. We've got to go over the rock. Ooh, get over it. Get over it. Uh, all right, final shout out going out to Gage Matthews and Paul Morgan and Andrew Delulius or something like that. Where the heck are we? Oh my gosh, how did we end up? Oh, okay. I thought we were back in this field. I'm like, what the heck? How are we back here? No, we're in this field. Okay. Um... I think let's drive down this road to the right. I want to hit a really muddy section, hopefully, before we have to wrap up the stream. Um, ooh, okay, here we go. 
here we go. Here's the road. We're gonna find, hopefully, the muddiest section of the map that we can. Um, once again, guys, if you are new here watching for the first time, please be sure to subscribe if you enjoy what you're seeing. If you don't enjoy what you're seeing, then of course, don't subscribe, you know? You might as well just get on out of here. Just get on out of here. But, uh, no. You know, if you're, if you're having a good time, of course, go ahead and drop that sub. And here we go. You guys want to see a little bit of mudding? Here's a little bit, bit of, uh, mudding for you. Ooh, alright, so we're gonna drive in to the left here a little bit, and a little bit of this water. Let's check out what, uh, what we've got going on here. Oh! Oh! Front end is dipping down. We've got the front right, no, front left of the vehicle in the water. Oh! Okay, okay. Let's try to not tip on our side. A little bit of gas. A little bit of gas. Level out. Level out. Good, good. Okay, okay. Wow, this is actually much deeper than I anticipated. We do have a dangerous water level. Oh my gosh, I did not expect to get this bogged down. This must be some really deep mud underneath here. Um, yeah. Okay. Keep it going, keep it going. We do have four-wheel drive on, don't we? Yes, we do. And, oh, diff lock is off. Hey, that might be why we're having a little bit of trouble. Differential lock being on definitely helps. Um, to those of you who don't know what diff lock is, you can see, see my mouse here, you can see right here it says diff lock on. We can, of course, toggle that on and off. Um, basically, diff lock makes it so that all of your wheels are going to lock together and spin at the same rate. Um, that's generally good for maximized traction and maximized control. Uh, otherwise, uh, hold on. I <laughs> otherwise, without diff lock, your tires are spinning at different speeds, and your traction is just not ideal. Not ideal. Uh, Caleb, thank you for dropping that like, dude. Tiger, we actually just did a like spike about five, ten minutes ago. Otherwise, I would. Um, man. This section's really, really muddy. Oh my gosh. I said I wanted to find something muddy. Well, guess what? Uh, I think we found some mud. I'd say it's a safe bet to say that we found some... We found, we found some frickin' mud. That's what we did. Uh, alright, so, yo, Edward Morin, what's up, dude? Welcome to the stream, welcome, welcome. Let's, uh, skip the head, skip the time ahead a little bit to seven, nope, didn't work, let's try it again, seven, yes. Alright, so here we are, in the next day. Uh, Sammy, thanks for dropping a like. Nike Pro, what's going on, dude? Welcome to the stream. Ernesto, thanks for dropping the like. David Soares, or Soares, what's going on, dude? What's going on, guys? Get you one, two, three, out here. <laughs> I liked shout out Pig and Alligator Vlogs. Okay, there you go. Shout out to Pig and Alligator Vlogs. Play My Summer Car? What is My Summer Car? Is that a game? Oh my gosh. I just looked down. I was looking at the chat and then I looked back and we are just like... <laughs> wow. Struggling. Actually, not really struggling. The Broncos handling it quite well, I would say. Quite, quite well. My goodness gracious. Um, Alright, I gotta send... A quick text. Okay. Okay, sorry about that, sorry about that. I feel so rude when I text and stream at the same time. At least I try to keep driving while I'm doing it. Okay. Uh, so we're just gonna keep going down this hill here and down to the bottom. I think there's a little bit more water action. A little bit more mud. Um, yo, Zach, thank you for dropping a like, dude. 16 JLo, thanks for subscribing. Play the game Gary's Mod. I have played Gary's Mod before, Matt. Um, it's a pretty cool game. I didn't put a ton of time into it. Um, Gary's Mod is the one with Prop Hunt, right? I played a little bit of Prop Hunt, which is <laughs> a hilarious game. Uh, Prop Hunt's really fun. Um... 
Ooh, okay, okay. So I think, actually, yeah, let's go, let's go left here and switch out the camera a little bit. Do a nice controlled drop in here. Nothing too crazy. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. Very good, very good. Good stuff, good stuff. Avante Nix, you said you liked and subscribed. Dude, thank you. Thank you for doing both of those. Poor Gaming, thanks for dropping the like. Lucas, Asher, AJ, Axel. Guys, thank you for your support. Thank you, thank you for the continued amazing support. And we're in a nice little foresty section here. I don't think I uh, ever recall seeing this part of the map before. <sighs> Get up it. Get up. Nice, nice. Alright. Alright guys, so we are coming to the end of the stream. Uh, hey, yeah, good thing I checked, checked my text messages. Um, because... Okay, yeah, the thing I had to go to after streaming did get bumped back, so that's why it's important to check your text messages while streaming. That right there. <laughs> Jack Chrissy, thanks for the like and sub. What's your favorite game out of GTA 5, BeamNG, Drive, or Spin Tires? You're gonna hate my answer, but I honestly can't pick one. Um, just because they're all so good in their own way. Uh, the best driving physics and crash physics definitely goes to BeamNG Drive. Best off-roading, definitely Spin Tires. And just the best overall, all things considered experience, GTA 5. So I guess maybe my answer would have to be GTA 5, but Spin Tires and BMNG Drive, both really solid games. Really, really solid games. Whoa, okay, okay, that got really deep, really fast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, yo, thanks for subbing Devin Salvador. Thank you, thank you. How do I download mods on laptop? Sir Goose. To download mods, you're going to want to watch like a YouTube tutorial. Um, if you've never downloaded and installed mods before, it can be a little confusing at first, but don't let it intimidate you. Just try to learn to do it, because it's honestly not that hard. Um, you've got to download these mods, and then you've got to drag them to the right files within your game folder. And like I said, it sounds maybe a little intimidating if you've never done it before, but um, it's seriously not difficult. Every now and then you might run into some issues. If you have a mod that doesn't work, you know, try another one. Maybe it's the mod, maybe it's not your fault. But, um, yeah, definitely watch a YouTube tutorial that kind of explains how to download and install mods. Because, uh, just guessing and doing it yourself the first time probably isn't going to go well. Yo, Cameron, thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you. Glad you enjoy. I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Enjoy the games. Enjoy my face. You know, all that good stuff. <laughs> Max Hole Gaming, thanks for the sub. Joshua, thanks for the sub. Alright, guys, so we are at about at that point now. We've been streaming for about an hour, so we, I think, are going to get things wrapped up. Um, we've put the Bronco to a really good test today, and it has performed amazingly. It's gotten up all sorts of hills, through all the mud, through the water. Just a really good off-roading vehicle in general. Um, this is definitely one of the more solid vehicles I've reviewed on my channel. Potentially one of the best, I might even venture to say. So good that I might even want to do like a follow-up video one day with um, some more difficult trails, just because this thing's such a straight-up beast. But of course, guys, before you go, we are just shy of 400 likes. Everybody be sure to drop a like right now before you go. Let's just see if we can crush 400 likes in this final stretch. Let me know after you like it. I'll shout you guys out, of course. But I want to see us just pass up those 400 likes. And uh, lastly, please be sure to subscribe if you are new here. You know, if you're not subbed yet, just scroll down, hit that big red subscribe button. That'll, of course, notify you when I go live, and uh, I'd love to have you back. I'd love to have you all back here in the future, next time I stream. And uh, on that note, 399, we are about to pass it. We are about to pass it. So close. So close. Yo, Gabriel, thanks for dropping the like. Quinn, thanks for the like. 
Ryan, Sammy, Gage, uh, Chad Williams, Poor Gaming, Snake Boss, Eric Orego, Surfing Graham, Black Ops, Quinn Braden, Shajon Beaupre. I probably messed up your name really bad, but I'm trying. Doing what I can. Guys, thank you. Chad Williams also. Thank you all for the likes. On that note, I gotta wrap it up. I've got some things I gotta do, so thank you, thank you, thank you all for tuning in today. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. Uh, I love you guys. I love your faces, and I hope to see you back here next time I stream, which I don't know if it'll be tomorrow. I have to take my cat to the vet tomorrow, and it's right dead smack in the middle of the day. And depending on how long that takes, I might not be able to do a video tomorrow. And then Thursday is my long day at school. We'll see if I have time Thursday, but if not, Friday for sure. Um, so on that note, guys, thank you all for tuning in. And, uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, we killed that 400 likes. Killed the 400 likes, so thank you guys. But for now, I gotta go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.